Hey everybody, Dr. Jesse Morris here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about gluten, everybody's favorite subject. Um, so I recently took this three-day neurochemistry and nutrition course, and it was the first of a six-module series. And uh, as I go through that series, I'll be sharing all kinds of gems with you about how diet and lifestyle affect your health. Uh, but for this particular course, I was really fascinated by how many times gluten came up and how many different ways gluten can damage our health. So what I want to do today is just highlight one of those ways and I'm going to be making a few other videos on different mechanisms or different ways gluten can damage your health. So uh, there's some interesting research out of Harvard that shows that 100% of people get what's called transient intestinal permeability, aka leaky gut, after eating gluten, right? So you heard that right, 100% of people, which includes me and you, of course. Um, but what the heck is transient intestinal permeability or leaky gut? So if you imagine your gut is a tube where food moves through, right? And that tube is wrapped in cheesecloth and then outside the cheesecloth, it's all wrapped in blood vessels, right? So the cheesecloth allows certain nutrients or certain molecules to move from the gut into the bloodstream, right? And if that's happening normally, everything's all good. Now you can think of leaky gut as having little tears in your cheesecloth where stuff gets through that's not supposed to, right? So if you have toxins or partially digested food that moves from the gut into the bloodstream, your immune system sees it there and it's like, whoa, what are you doing here, right? And then it attacks it and, and as part of that process, it creates inflammation, right? And we've talked about this before, how chronic inflammation is a major driver of chronic pain and chronic disease. So, the term leaky gut, really, it, it's a popular term for transient intestinal permeability, which means it's, it's temporary, right? You eat some gluten, a little tear in the cheesecloth, but your gut heals, right? Your gut's one of those tissues that heals really quickly, but if you tear it over and over and over, right, it doesn't heal quite as well. It, the, the tears last a little bit longer, and so over time, with a kind of persistent tearing of the cheesecloth, uh, the leaky gut gets worse and worse. And that makes a lot of sense given the, the kind of rates of chronic disease that we see in our, in our country and how gluten is such a staple that a lot of people eat it every day, right? And so eating gluten every day leads to that chronic leaky gut, chronic tearing of the cheesecloth, which again drives chronic inflammation, which drives chronic pain and chronic disease. So what does this mean for you, right? So knowing that gluten causes a tearing of the, the gut lining and uh, leaky gut, which drives chronic inflammation, which drives chronic disease, that unto itself um, may be enough to want you to have you want to um, minimize gluten or, or cut it out completely. Um, you know, and if you have any kind of neurological issues, chronic inflammatory issues, uh, any autoimmune stuff, it's a really, really good idea to just stay away from it altogether. Um, so for me personally, uh, me and my family are gluten free. And uh, I, for me personally, I don't really notice a ton of difference when I, when I stay off of it, but I know just how inflammatory it is, and I know that chronic leaky gut drives chronic inflammation, which drives chronic disease, so with my long-term health in mind, I just stay away from it altogether. Um, so if you've been curious about gluten, um, I hope this gives you some good insight. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a few more videos of some different mechanisms how gluten damages health and, and specifically to the immune system. It's fascinating stuff. Um, as per usual, I hope this is helpful. Feel free to share this with your friends and family and I'll see you soon.